Thank you, Provost Nichols. I am pleased to introduce our dean, Dr. Moon Choi. Moon. Thank you. You know, I rarely correct the provost because he's my boss and he's never wrong. Uh, but I do want to say that we don't have some of the best students. We have the best students in UConn. So let's make that correction. Now, as UConn engineers today, you'll be joining the ranks of accomplished engineers who came before you. And you'll continue in the important heritage of serving society and the profession. And as you embark on your careers, you'll continue to integrate your knowledge, integrity, wisdom, and ethics for every decision. Another very important lesson to keep in mind is to continually expand your horizons and your comfort zone. When I was growing up, there was a popular song that stated, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Now, I love that song. <laughs> but if individuals took that advice, we would not have a Steve Jobs. We would not have a Sally Ride we would not have Bob Madonna. To become a leader and to make important contributions, you must explore different perspectives, challenge the norms and the common practices, and ensure that inhibitions do not prevent you from realizing your goals. And as I look around to all of our graduates today, I am confident that you will continue to make an important impact in your chosen field. But you didn't make this journey alone. So let's recognize those who have really provided an education that is second to none. I would like to ask all of the faculty members here to rise. All of the faculty members to rise. <laughs> and there are some in the audience, I know. Now. That's a, that's a good applause, but that's not a husky applause, okay? So let's do that one more time to thank them for all of their contributions to your learning. Thank you. You may sit. Now, I was thinking back to four five or maybe six, seven years ago when some of you started. No, but most of you started four years ago. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when you started, the top ten charts in the U.S. were filled with artists like Ashley Simpson, her sister, Jessica Simpson, her brother, Bart Simpson. <laughs> and, uh, but... I'm so happy now that your musical tastes have really improved during the past four years. But more seriously, there were dramatic events that occurred. For example, Hurricanes Katrina and Rita devastated the Gulf Coast, which resulted in new guidelines and construction of levees. There was the outbreak of the bird flu, which demonstrated the impact of globalization on the spread of pandemics. Also, in that year, the G8 nations took an extraordinary measure to pledge $50 billion a year to African nations to help those nations that are in dire need of infrastructure, education, and basic survival care. But that pledge was never met because of the onset of the worst global recession since the Great Depression. In the process, many of your colleagues, parents, brothers, and sisters felt the economic hardships. But to their credit, and despite the predicaments, your family recognized the value of a UConn education 
and made sacrifices for you. So for that, let's thank all of the parents, grandparents, and family members for valuing your education and supporting you during the past four years. Now, in all likelihood, you're not going to remember what I say here today. I was thinking back to my own graduation 23 years ago, and I don't recall what my dean said at that uh, commencement as well. But what we're going to remember is that today, May 10th, May 9th, <laughs> May 9th, 2010, is a special day that you share with your family and friends. So let me ask engineers to do something that they normally don't do, which is express themselves, <laughs> OK? Not with calculus or chemistry or physics, but with emotions. So let me ask all of the graduates to stand up. Stand up. And locate where your family members are, s are seated. Locate them. Now, graduates, graduates, think about, all right, wow, all right, one second please, let me, uh, let me add one more thing, graduates, think about, think about what you want to say to your family and friends, and instead of just thinking about it, when I say go, Say it to them as enthusiastically as you can. So one, two, three, go! Now keep standing. And family and friends, this is the one opportunity where you can tell them as enthusiastically as you can how proud you are. So family and friends, let's, let's reciprocate. One, two, three, go. Thank you. Thank you very much. OK, if I can have you uh, seated, thank you. I think this you'll remember. So to all of the graduates, continue your good work, no matter what field you choose. And never forget there are you, that you are a Yukon Husky engineer. So best of luck to you, and congratulations. Thank you.